Donna from Nastasia.com. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet hats. While both hat patterns can easily fit a 1 to 10 year old child, I still like to get a head measurement for a more perfect fit. For each hat, you'll need about 200 yards of red yarn, 50 yards of white yarn, a size G crochet hook, plus I like these row counters to help keep track of your rows. And we'll use a paper clip as a stitch marker. Both hats are made almost the same way, except the Santa hat just has more rows added for the tail end. Do a slip knot, then chain 11. After you make your 11 chains, skip the first chain and single crochet in each stitch across for a total of 10 single crochet stitches on that row. Then chain 1 and turn your work. Skip the first chain and insert your hook into the back loop and do one single crochet. Do one single crochet in the back loop only in each of the next stitches across the row. When you reach the tenth and final stitch in this row, insert your hook into the back loop of this tenth stitch and draw up a loop. Put down your work, grab the white yarn and make a loop. Pick up your work then grab that white loop and pull it through the red loops on your crochet hook to complete that single crochet stitch. Now we'll work with the white yarn while letting the red yarn just hang along the side of your work. Chain one and turn your work. Skip that white chain you just made and insert your hook into the back loop of the stitch and make a single crochet. Keep doing single crochet stitches in the back loops for a total of 10 single crochets on that row. When you get to the end, chain 1 and turn your work. Do one single crochet in each stitch across in the back loops, except stop before making the last stitch in that row. For this last stitch, insert your hook in the back loop, then draw up a loop, and drop the white yarn. Now reach down and grab the hanging red yarn from a few rows below. Yarn over with it and pull it through the two white loops on the hook to finish that single crochet. Chain one and turn your work. Make ten single crochet stitches across that row. Chain one and turn your work. Do single crochet stitches across, except stop before that last stitch. Similar to before, insert your hook, yarn over, and draw up a loop. Drop the red yarn this time, and grab the white yarn, then finish your stitch. Keep doing this pattern for two rows of every color, and change colors by carrying the yarn up your work. Do a total of 55 rows and I will show you a trick to doing that 56th row. After you finish your 55th row, chain one, then lay out your striped band and make sure it doesn't get twisted. Put the red first row you worked on in front of you and the white row with your crochet hook behind the red one. Insert your hook into the first stitch of the red section and then in the back loop of the white section. Then complete your single crochet stitch. Do this across for a total of 10 stitches. Once you are completed with the row, cut the white yarn and weave in your end. Turn the band so the stripes face downwards, and where the red yarn is already connected, insert your crochet hook into the hole and chain one. Now do a single crochet in the same space. It's a good idea to set your counter to know how many rows or rounds you are doing. It's also a good idea to mark that first stitch, since we will be working in spirals. We're going to do one single crochet in each of the sideway rows for a total of 56 single crochet stitches around. As you may recall, there are two rows of red followed by two rows of white. 
Therefore, when we go around, we will be putting one single crochet in the first red row and one single crochet in the second red row. As you approach the end of the first round, we're going to start round two. Just insert your crochet hook into the top of your marked stitch and make a single crochet. Take out your stitch marker and insert it into this new stitch you just made to designate the new first stitch. It's also a good idea to change your counter to the number two to reflect this second round. Continue doing one single crochet in each stitch for a total of 56 single crochet stitches. Note you will be working under both of the loops. Rounds 3, 4, and 5 will work the same way. Just do one single crochet in each stitch around. Round 6, however, is different. In this round, we need to decrease stitches. We'll first start off with a single crochet 2 together, which is a decrease stitch. Here's how to do it. Insert your hook into the first stitch and draw up a loop. Insert your hook into the next stitch and draw up a loop. Now, yarn over and draw through all loops on the hook. Then, do three single crochet stitches. After those, do another single crochet two together stitch. Then do three single crochet stitches. Keep going in this pattern of a single crochet two together, followed by three single crochet stitches. Please note, near the end, sometimes decrease rows aren't going to be perfect. You might not be able to complete the pattern perfectly. In this case, I just need to add an extra single crochet stitch. For row 7, you will just do one single crochet around in each stitch. Do not do any decreases in this row. It's a good time to measure your hat now. If you don't have the child available, you can use something like a pot that is the same size as the person's head. Remember to also fold over the cuff. If you find yourself doing a lot of hats, it might be worthwhile to invest in various size styrofoam heads. Here is a summary of the rounds you will need to make whether you are making the Santa hat or the beanie hat. Once you finish your 23rd round, you can decide which hat to make. If you are making the smaller beanie hat, stop and proceed towards the end of the video of how to finish the hat. If you are making the Santa hat, keep watching the video for making the long tail section. If you are making the Santa hat, this is what you will need to do. Please note we are doing more decrease rounds than we did before. After you complete your 41st round, you can either stop and make a shorter tail for your Santa hat, or continue making many, many more regular single crochet rounds to make an extremely long tail. Once you are satisfied with the length of your Santa hat, Leave a long strand, then cut the yarn. Pull the yarn through, and with a yarn needle, weave in and out to close up that hole. Once done, you can push the needle inside the hat as far as it can go to secure the strand. Then cut the yarn end. For both hats, we can make a pom-pom. You can use a pom-pom maker tool if you have one. But, there is a quick and easy way to make pom-poms with your hands. Cut a double strand of yarn about 16 inches long and put it between your fingers. Wrap a double strand of yarn around all of your fingers many times. Then cut the ends. Carefully pull up that 16-inch strand of yarn and tie a good knot in the middle of that loop creation you just made. Cut the loops on both ends. Then trim your pom-pom to shape it, but leave those long tail ends for tying on the pom-pom to the hat. 
If you made the Santa hat, use your crochet hook to grab one side of the pom-pom strands, then grab the other set. Make a strong knot to secure it, and then just cut the knotted strands to blend in with the pom-pom. If you are making the smaller beanie hat, you'll need to double a long piece of yarn and thread a yarn needle at one end. Take the top opening of the beanie hat and weave in and out of the top edge. Once you go around the top edge, pull the two strands together to tighten the top. You can grab the strands with your fingers and pull them inside the hat so they won't be noticeable. And tie a good strong knot. Then reach inside with your crochet hook and pull one side of the pom-pom strands through. Then repeat for the next side. Tie the pom-pom strands together inside, knot them, and then cut the ends. And, for both hats, weave in any remaining ends. I hope this video has helped you, and please visit www.nastasia.com for more tips and tricks on creative, self-sufficient living.